Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How y'all doing? How are you doing? I'm excellent, Renee. I'm doing excellent. Good. Yep. Uh, very excited that you're able to join us here tonight. Congratulations on retaining the AEW World Championship. It's such an incredible match with Hangman Adam Page, Swerve Strickland. You guys beat the ever-loving hell out of each other. Should I ask you if you're even remotely surprised that you are still our champion tonight? Not at all. Um, you know, I've always made it a, a point to, uh, you know, tell the world what I'm going to do. And I think that I've delivered uh, on every uh, promise that I've made here in AEW. Uh, tonight was no different. You know, obviously, Sword and Hangman, two tremendous young competitors. But they just didn't have enough. And I'm just that much better. So here I am, a champion. All right, guys, the floor is open to you guys. Any uh, questions you guys have for Samoa Joe? It's all you. Take the first one right here, Joe. Thank you for your time, Joe. My name is Jonathan McClarty from FlagshipNews.com and MilitaryNews.com. Uh, congratulations on your victory tonight. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Uh, what, do you, what do you think, you know, with Hangman and Swerve beefing with each other for so long, do you think that served as a distraction to, to further help you to retain tonight? Well, you know, first off, I want to thank your readers for their service. Secondly, um, you know, it was a huge mistake by both those gentlemen. I mean, obviously, they have very, very bad blood between each other. So, you know, these uh, heated issues can often boil over into other parts of their life. Unfortunately, it boiled over into tonight, which is the worst place for it to happen. So, I mean, if uh, those gentlemen want to stay uh, eyes locked on each other, they thought that the path to salvation was through uh, each other's blood. Well, unfortunately, it wasn't because uh, I made sure that did not happen tonight. So, that's what I feel. Lyric Swinton, SNME Radio. So you talked earlier a couple of weeks ago about bringing back the ranking system as a way to get the best opponents for the AEW World Championship. Today we saw an amazing match, one that you were a part of, and also Will Ospreay and Takeshita. What are your thoughts on the growing, strong talent pool in All Elite Wrestling and what it means to be world champion during this time with so much talent. I mean, it's indicative of what AEW has always stood for. You know, we go out, we find the best wrestlers in the world, and we bring them together to find out who is the best wrestler in the world. Currently, that is me. But on my heels are some of the greatest grapplers to ever step foot in a ring. You know, when we have acquisitions, men like Will Ospreay, how can you not be excited about the future of this company? And, uh, you know, once again, we've set up a protocol. Will Osprey is new here. He's a fantastic, dynamic athlete, has had tremendous success everywhere he's been. But until he has that success here, I don't need to worry about him. Hey there, Joe. Rick Uccino, CagesideSeats.com. Congratulations on a great performance tonight. Just uh, wanted to get your thoughts on uh, your new number one contender uh, in Wardlow and the words he had this week where he said he was coming for your spot. Yeah, uh, and much like everybody else in this in this entire roster. I mean, it's no, it's no surprise Wardlow finds himself where he is. Obviously a very domineering individual that has had tremendous success, admittedly even against me. But uh, right now, this is a very different version of myself. This is not one that is distracted by other championship titles. I'm the AEW World Champion, and Wardlow will, look, will, will soon learn why that is. Hey, Joe, uh, DJ Danny Ocean, 101.9 KISS FM. Um, you mentioned Will Ospreay. We talked about Wardlow. Uh, is there any of these new up-and-coming guys or you got your eye on that you want to get in the ring with yourself that you want to defend your title against? You know, once again, I, I refer back to championship protocol. I mean, they have to earn this spot. I mean, this is not me up here picking out dream matches, trying to be nice about this. No, this is me uh, supporting the integrity of the championship that only the best grapplers in the world will compete for it. So, uh, you know, is, is there a, a laundry list of wrestlers I'd be more than happy to take on in the ring? Yeah, every single one of them. And you look up and down our roster, you tell me one person that isn't a dream match. I know what this company is capable of. I know about the competitors in this company. And I am more than happy to prove each and every one of them that they're second tier and they're just not on my level. Hey, Joe, uh, Swerve made light of the uh, announcing in a poncho situation. Was mm -hmm. there ever a time in your life that you doubted that you would be back here where you are in this position? No, because obviously I was planning and taking the time to recover so that I could be back here at this capacity competing at this level. You know, far too, too many uh, uh, dumber athletes in this industry uh, don't take the time to heal. 
you know, don't bet on themselves and say, hey, listen, I'm going to step away from, from things a little bit and I'm going to come back uh, not a, a 90%, not 80%, 110%. And I took that time and I came back 110%. Now I'm AEW world champion. So, I mean, th this is just indicative of me understanding what I need to do to get things done. You know, I'm, I'm playing this on a very different level than everybody else. Everybody else out here just hoping they get their shot, hoping they're doing things. I'm planning dynasties. And, I mean, it starts with, it starts with me. And that's not going to change anytime soon, bro. I mean, they're they're playing chess. They're they're playing checkers. I'm out here playing chess. I mean, this is it's a totally different game, man. And uh, you know that, that that time. I mean, she, doing commentary and ponchos. I I'm still a millionaire. You know, I know what he's talking about. You know, so I mean, he he may not like that issue, but hey, that that guy on the poncho just whipped his ass tonight and is still world champion. So I mean, you, you tell me, you tell me who's running things around here. Corey Lee with the Wrestling Observer. Um, I do want to talk about uh, the main event tonight with uh, Sting's final match. I just wanted to kind of just get your thoughts on Sting's retirement. Obviously, you had a feud with him in, in TNA uh, over the TNA World Title. Had a couple great mat you know great matches with him, and just kind of reflect a little bit about your history with Sting and what he means to this business and this company. You know, I've I've I've, I've known Sting as a rival, as a friend. Uh, you know, outside the ring as a confidant, somebody who has. Uh, been a steady and, and, and sobering voice during a lot of chaotic situations throughout my career. Uh, aside from that, for 40 years, Sting has elicited emotions from crowds around the world that uh, you know uh, uh, most wrestlers could only hope they would achieve. And I think that uh, you know tonight, how much love he received, how many people showed out for his final appearance, and uh, you know how much we here at AEW appreciate his contributions to this company. Um, to be a man like Sting, to have the legacy and the, and the legendary status that you do and still show up here and give that 110% and still try to build a new company and still give of himself physically and mentally at a very high level, um, you know, it, it, it speaks to his character, it speaks to who he is as a human being, and it speaks to the legacy that he deserves to be celebrated tonight. Two more questions. Uh, Scott Fishman, TV Insider. Um, you know, you being the AEW World Champion, you're seen as the leader, like a face of the company. What are your, what's, how would you kind of describe uh, the vibe right now backstage in the locker room and the working relationship that you all have? Um, it's been a turbulent couple months last year, but it seems like things are a little steady right now. So kind of how would you kind of describe the feeling that you have backstage? I, I think you summed it up perfectly. That was last year. And I mean, this is the AEW underneath my reign. And, uh, I, I, as far as uh, our, our locker room committee and stuff, I don't think it's ever been tighter. I don't think it's ever been better. Uh, there's a enthusiasm backstage that is infectious, and it's because, you know, we have so much new uh, burgeoning talent. We have so many new opportunities to go out there and entertain the crowd with the people that we have uh, at our disposal. That um, you know, there's just there's just genuine excitement among the locker room, and uh, you know, I, I think. Uh, it's been a long time since uh, uh, the, the spirit has been felt here, and uh, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to uh, you know where this leads us in the future. Last question for Joe. All right, cowards, cool. All right, I'm good. <laughs> Samoa Joe, our AEW World Champion, everybody.